since we have reached a dead end. Impossible. Mrs. Don't look at me. How the hell would I know? I detect vital signs. It is not any sort of doll. You have come at last. I give you 90 points for this feat. Master Shadowlord! Why is someone who looks like Adel in that tank? Do you recall my promise to you all? That I would explain once you have seen the truth with your own eyes? That time has come. As promised, the truth is yours. Quick gloating and get to the point already. Patience, Lieutenant Eyblinger. There is an order to these matters. Firstly, how much do you know of alchemy, Adel Kristen? Yeah. That is right. You encountered this ancient art in Xandria. Alchemy? You can't be serious. You know what alchemy is, Jules? It was a science prevalent among Glean scholars during the Hundred Years' War. Supposedly, the aim of alchemy was to transmute common ores into pure gold. Gold? Sounds like a historical scam to me. Maybe, but the research had a great influence on science and medicine. Eventually, though, it was deemed to be pseudoscience and was buried in time. Hmm. You get 50 points for that attempt at an explanation. What do you mean? Alchemy's objective is not only the transmutation of metals and other materials. It is also research dedicated to the perfect replication of human flesh and soul. Huh? Human flesh... and souls as well? During those times, there was one alchemist who perfected this art. That's impossible. Does that mean this place is for alchemy? That is correct. The purpose of this facility is the fabrication of homunculi through alchemy. Huh? You're joking, right? However... It would explain how they were able to create another Adol. So you're telling us that the Adel over there is a copy? <sighs> 50 points. Again. What was that? The Adel in that preservation vessel is the true Adel, the peerless adventurer. And the homunculus that was created in his image was you. Crimson King. Wait... That can't be true. You're screwing with us. Well... Since the beginning. It was you who escaped the prison and became a monstrum. Even if what you're saying is true, then so what? Mm -hmm. 
sure it's a shock to learn all of this about Adol and alchemy. But the Crimson King has been our friend from the beginning. And nothing you say will change that. Krisha. As I said earlier, there is an order to this. There is more to this story. You see, Adol is not the only one. is understandable. Monstrums, turn your gaze toward that painting. Painting? That looks like a painting of the Emancipation of Balduk. What about it? Yufa, look closely at the people who are depicted. They look like... us. And the woman in the middle... That's Saint Rosvita, isn't it? Wait... Aprilis? This painting is more accurate than any other depiction you will find today. The five next to the saint are the heroes who fought by her side in the Hundred Years' War. And four of you are homunculi created from those heroes. We are? But how? The Hundred Years' War happened over five centuries ago. How old do you think this prison is? No. It can't be. That explains why we were all orphans. Then does that mean Aprilis was... The Saint's homunculus. <laughs> that is correct. 100 points. Aprilis. <sighs> Doll, you are the one who made this possible. You are special, much like Adol. But I will leave that for another time. I made it possible? It is the same as I have told you before. We intend to reclaim this land. There are many exceptional individuals in many vocations with desirable talents. Through alchemy, these people can be replicated and controlled. With these homunculi in our ranks, Glia will be unstoppable, militarily and politically. We will break free of the Empire's fetters, and bring peace and prosperity to the people. So that's the reason the Knights were rounding people up. Seems like the case. And you don't see anything wrong with that? Not at all. I have done everything in my power to achieve my goal already. But eight years ago, during the war, all of it ended in failure. It's just as Park said. Even if I must sacrifice my humanity, I will not allow those mistakes to be repeated. I cannot do it alone. Power is necessary for Glia to truly be free. Monstrums, I ask for your assistance. It will raise the people's morale if they are led by the heroes who liberated Balduk once before. Every Glean knows what it's like to have someone taken from them by the Romans. But still... Even though the war was terrible, we have to move past that! Not all Romans are bad people! I can't speak for everyone, 
but I think the people of Balduk are moving on. I lost my parents in the war, but I'm slowly coming to terms with it. Normally, I'd be raring to take on an entire army. But instead of fighting with you, I'm thinking it'll be a hell of a lot more fun fighting against you. I hear you, Monstrums. Nevertheless, I was hopeful that you would share my perspective. To be certain, Adel, no. Crimson King, what is your response? I understand. It was remiss of me to ask. If none of you will join me, then you are a hindrance to my plan. I will obliterate you and ensure that the next homunculi will be obedient. Is that possible? I told you earlier, alchemy can recreate flesh, and it can recreate souls as well. Fortunately, I already possess the necessary constituents. <laughs> Those are the words of someone about to put up the fight of his life. Now we're talking. I guess I made the right choice after all. Obliterate us? So everything we've been through together will be gone forever? I'm not gonna let you do that! That's the spirit, Krisha. First you tell us we're homunculi, and now you want to destroy us? We built our lives here, and we still have our futures ahead of us. For that, I won't give up. I won't go down without a fight. I would have accepted being reborn if you offered to give me a healthy body. But you're just asking us to die. Sorry, but life's already too short, so I'm going to have to decline. I fail to see the justice in your cause. I still have much to learn about the world and myself. That is why I will oppose you. Very well, Monstrance of Baldur. You leave me with no choice. I, Shadowlark, Master of the Gleean Hieroglyph Knights, accept your challenge. You transformed! You can do that with alchemy? We'll defeat him, no matter what it takes! Okay! <laughs> yes. All right! That's a given. I did not wish to show you my true power. Leave me with no choice. Now, monsters of Bomb Duke, let us <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that. Only one of us is getting out of your life, Shadow Lord. I understand how you feel, but what you're doing is wrong. We're not going to let you endanger the people of Balduk.
Knights has his limits. The true extent of one's limits revealed in the face of death. Hey, are you a I can keep going. Second there, I thought we were goners. Now I see how much you have all grown. Battle the Red and the heroes of the Hundred Years' War. You are as strong as I hoped. But I will not surrender. Not in a thousand years will I give up. He, uh, he's not done? He is even more stubborn than Prado. Glia must be freed in the name of my fallen comrades, my friends, for the people whose lives were taken all because of that war. What? What's happening to Shadowlard? Impossible. Am I a homunculus? It cannot be. What? What are you talking about? It was him. He did this to me. Who does he mean? I see. I died. Along with every single one of my comrades. D Hold on! We still have questions! I'm coming. My friends. Uh, he's gone. Shadowlord. <clears throat> How insipid. I thought I'd watch the performance, but it ended oh so predictably. <laughs> Huh? Uh, Vesta? No matter. My research is at the threshold of completion. It is fortuitous that Shadowlord performed his role sufficiently enough. Hey, what's your deal showing up and spouting nonsense? <laughs> Insolence. Do you have any idea to whom you're speaking? But of course, I suppose a formal introduction is long overdue. My name is Zola. I am the one who created you all, the first alchemist. He's an alchemist? 
all of you and this facility are the fruits born from my research, centuries in the making. Of course, the same goes for my adjutants, Shadalar and Smirnov. It, it was you? This whole time? That's correct. Although this form is but one of many others. I have always been one to exercise. They're all people we've met before. Over the past 500 years, I never once revealed my true form to anyone. But I am in good spirits today, and I have a very good reason. Thanks to you, Crimson King and Adol, my magnum opus is nearly complete. Uh, he's a little boy! What's this magnum opus? Anamona. The final piece of my research requires someone very special. You. No. Anamona? Papa. It is... you. What? But I thought... He'd be older. <laughs> this guy's just a freak. <sighs> so your memories have returned. It has been too long, Anamona. And of course, I've been watching all of you very closely, too. No way! He's the one who brought Anamona to life? The big alchemist. Doing whatever he wants, no matter the consequences. It's an accumulation of 500 years of tireless research. And soon, there will be no need for any of you to fight the Grimwald Nox. Are... Uh, are you saying... The curse is going to be broken? The curse? Ah, I understand. That's how Rosvita described it to you. Or rather, Aprilis, as you all know her. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude to you, Crimson King. Well, if it were not for you, I wouldn't have completed my research. What do you mean by that? There's still much to be done. But you will all see me again. That is, when it's time. Regrettably, I must retire for today. Please wait, Papa! Goodbye, Crimson King. Till next time. He disappeared. Anyone gonna explain to me what that asshole was talking about? Hell of a person to go and die for, Shadowlard. Kratos. I can't believe we're just copies of war heroes made by alchemy. I don't know what to think. There's so much to take in. Do you think it's true that we won't have to fight the Grimwald Nox anymore? Either way, it's still too early to celebrate. Do you know anything about this magnum opus, Anamona? I am sorry. I cannot recall. But it seems familiar somehow. Yes. I apologize. My thoughts are in a state of disarray at the moment. Is this what they call... confusion? There's not much we can do here. But what should we do about those? <sighs> I guess we'll just have to leave them here. 
We wouldn't know what to do with them anyways. Wait, maybe Dad knows what to do. Oh yeah, weren't he and Chatelard partners? Where'd he run off to anyway? He is not anywhere in the vicinity. Yeah. There's nothing else we can do right now. Let's return to the dandelion at all. I feel like we got more questions than answers. Yeah. But I'm happy we rescued Felix at least. I still find it difficult to fathom that we're homunculi of the ancient heroes. Still got your strings tangled. Thought you'd be glad you got your memories back. It was still a shock, though. Yes. And perhaps if I had remembered sooner, I would have been of more use. This is just like before. But why now? Hang on, Adol! It seems worse this time. Look! Isn't that the same light? There is no mistaking it. It is the light that appeared when Shadowlard faded away. This can't be happening. Crimson King, quickly! Aprilis? Uh, how are you here? It doesn't look like a trick. <sighs> Dad? What are you doing here? You must hurry. There's not much time. Take the Crimson King over to the next room. There's also something I need all of you to do for me. this place there's so many aprilises i can't believe it this is the place where zola first succeeded at making a homunculus that's right you're one too the reason zola turned to alchemy was so he could revive me so he could revive saint rose vita what? I'm sure you all have many questions. But our first priority is saving the Crimson King's life. We can save him? What's the deal with him anyway? Normally, homunculi are born as children. That's why all of you had proper childhoods. That's true. I wouldn't necessarily call them proper. But he was an experiment to create an identical adult replica of the original. And because of that, his body is unstable. 
If we do nothing, then the Crimson King will disappear forever. Just as Shadowlar did. Isn't there anything we can do? There's not enough time to create an entirely new body for him. However, there is another way. Bye. <laughs>